Welcome to the Healthy OC segment on Real Orange. I'm Heidi Cortese. Since 1987, utilizing helicopters, planes, and ground support, Dr. Calvin Lowe's team has ferried over 35,000 children requiring special medical attention to hospitals locally and worldwide. He'll explain the challenges in moving children who are so sick and fragile and how his program became a real lifesaver. We welcome Dr. Calvin Lowe, Medical Director of Children's Emergency Transport at Children's Hospital Los Angeles. Welcome Dr. Lowe. Thank you, it's my pleasure. A businessman and his wife go to Thailand. She's pregnant. She has a child prematurely. They call you. What happens after that? Well, we decide what type of team that needs to go to pick up this child. We have to determine whether a doctor, uh, a nurse, and a physician, or a respiratory therapist needs to go out. We have to arrange for a jet, a Learjet, to fly over to Thailand. Mind you, a Learjet can go continuous straight through to uh, Thailand. What this encompasses that we have different stopovers in different countries, bring on new pilots, uh, get there, stabilize the child. Mind you, we bring all types of different equipment specific for the child and bring the child back to the United States. Now, how are you contacted in, say, that type of situation and a local situation? Well, what happens is that we don't dispatch a team to pick up a child unless there is a bed secured somewhere. It could be a Children's Hospital in Los Angeles. It could be Children's Hospital in Orange County or UC Irvine. So once a bed is secure, the receiving doctor, it could be an intensivist or a neonatologist, calls our team and says, hey, we have this patient at XYZ Hospital. Can you provide a team to go get that child? And we, at that point, we mobilize the team and we go get that child uh, to bring them back safely and smoothly as possible. When you're trying to find a specialist for a particular problem a child might have, anything from a congenital heart defect to, say, an auto accident, do you find frequently that there's an overflow in the hospitals? And yeah. you have to be creative about where you end up taking that, the That's child. correct. Even our hospital sometimes is full to the brim and we have to find places to transport these patients. So another major medical facility such as Children's Hospital or UCLA, UC Irvine, or Children's Hospital Orange County may have that bed and we can transport that child there. What are some of the obstacles in transporting a child, the challenges um, that might have a collapsed lung, let's say? Okay, well that goes back to like the basic high school laws of physics. If you remember Boyle's Law, it's like releasing a balloon up to the air. So as you go up in altitude, the air is thinner, so there's less pressure and that volume of gas will expand and the balloon will eventually burst. In a child with a collapsed lung, that means that the lining of the lung separates from the rib cage, meaning that there's air collected there. So if we fly in a helicopter, which is in an unpressurized cabin, the, the air may expand th up to 30% if nothing is done, so that may compromise the child, breathing issues, the blood pressure may go down, and it's very difficult to resuscitate a child in a small confines of a helicopter. Well, thank you for all of this information. Congratulations on all of your fine work. Thank you. I'm Heidi Cortese for The Healthy OC. Be well.